Class is dismissed, boys and girls. <laughs> You're in. Previously on the YTV Retrospective. Now, say my name. Say the class. You're goddamn right. Check this out. Many of us have made all sorts of movies when we were kids. Even I made some. No, 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 no. I tried to warn you. Why'd you put that in the script? Hey, you're the one who added it into this video. Yeah, good point. What if there was a show that was built around a kid's imagination when it came to filmmaking? A year ago, we took a look at Studio B's first outing with YTV in Yvonne of the Yukon. But now it's time to take a look at their second. This is Being Ian. Being Ian is about Ian Kelly, voiced by Richard Ian Cox, as he dreams of becoming a filmmaker along the lines of Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis. No! You maniacs! My gift shop souvenir! You maniacs! While also dealing with his daily life being the youngest brother of three, with his two older brothers, the dim-witted prankster Corey, voiced by Matt Hill, runs around the tree and through the hall. Smooth move. And the cool but also lazy Kyle, voiced by Ty Olson. Give me nuggies until I obey. Actually, I was gonna bribe you with this cake, but I like your idea better. Start cleaning, or else. Although his family does not share the same creativity, as his parents, Ken and Vicky, run a piano store with their assistant, Oddball, voiced by Ian James Corlett. Is this supposed to be the anthem? Ian often daydreams being in movies that are more similar to the situation he is in. For example, in the episode Spells Like Teen Spirit, Ian needs to enlist Kyle to join the Spelling Bee team, as he is actually pretty good. Zoroastrianism. Z-O-R-O-A-S-T-R-I-A-N-I-S-M. Kyle Kelly, you're a spelling whiz! He then imagines he is in the events of Braveheart to try and get a motivational speech to get him to join. We fight this day not for ourselves, for we are mortal. Not for treasure, for treasure is fleeting. We fight for this. We fight for dirt. A lot of the time, his friends are the voice of reason to his movie filled in Sandy, including Tyrone, Sandy, and Grace. This show is based on the childhood of series creator and voice of Cheetor and Oddbald, Ian James Corlett. And it screams BC. Taking place in the city of Burnaby, British Columbia, Heck, the episode Hockey Night in Burnaby has the Kellys and Oddwald helping to fix the organ of the NHL team, the Vancouver Canucks, with team legend and sports broadcaster Ryan Walter and current player at the time, Trevor Linden. One of my favorite episodes was surprisingly enough, the first episode. The Kelly Boys and the Mysterious Lighthouse Mystery. After being tricked way too many times by Kyle and Corey, Ian decides to take the pranks to them by creating a treasure map that leads to Lighthouse Park. All the while, the family decides to have a midnight blowout sale with Oddball completely sick and out of his mind. A charming young singer named Hannah was caught in the flood in Montana. As she floated away, her sister they say, accompanied her on the piano. What did they end up finding? <laughs> And even better? Dude! Pirate treasure! What? You just tricked me, didn't you? The Power of Karma! From 2005 to 2008, the series lasted for three seasons and 63 episodes, which include two straight-to-TV movies. The first was Hurry for Hollywood which is about the family going on a trip to Hollywood, but Ian has ulterior motives, wanting to enter his movie in a young filmmaker's contest before time is up. To me, it runs along the lines of movies including a Goofy movie and a more recent example, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. It hits a lot of the family road trip formula note for note. The second, an Ian convenient truth, 
has Ian wanted to help reduce the family's carbon footprint and be kinder to the environment in hopes of getting his mom to meet her idol, real-life environmentalist David Suzuki, host of the CBC documentary series The Nature of Things. Despite ending its initial run on YTV, it still has airings on different channels, primarily the Canadian channel BBC Kids, but until it closed down in 2018, Nickelodeon in Canada, and Kubo, until it closed down in 2021. If you want to check out the series, a few DVD releases have been made available, each of which including a few episodes, and separate releases for Hurry for Hollywood and An Ian Convenient Truth. Also, a few episodes are currently available under the Treehouse Direct YouTube channel. In all honesty, this is my favorite production that Studio B created. Some great humor, fun movie homages, and just a great series all around. This series provides a great imagination to up-and-coming filmmakers that are looking to start their paths. You don't need fancy sets or software or technology to get into the craft. Sometimes it's just using your cell phone or even a camcorder with tapes to get started. Don't do it for the money. Do it for what you love, be it discussing your favorite show or playing your favorite game or even recording yourself paying for someone else at the drive-in window. What you need is, well, yourself. Be authentic with who you are. Pick up a camera and imagine your next masterpiece today. When we come back, while we have taken a look at one of the earlier CG animation studios in Canada, it's time to meet another. Surprisingly enough, also from Vancouver and roommates with Studio B. Welcome to the core. Next time on the YTV Retrospective. Check this.